First, we're going to start off with assembling the gripper part of the robot arm. So, go ahead and grab this main um, gripper base. And then you also need the two um, gripper arms. You also need two little pins. So, there's a little slot in this. And um, these little arms fit in there nicely. And then you can grab one of the pins and pop it through. These are a little bit hard to get through. Um, but once they're through, they do hold it pretty well. So now this should be able to move around pretty easily. All right. Now go ahead and grab this longer ladder looking piece that's part of the arm and you can see the um, gripper part kind of fits in here nicely so we're going to get two more pins and attach that into these holes like this. We have those two attached. Now next we will get one of these long um, straight arm pieces. We'll go ahead and grab another pin. And now we're going to attach this to um, this little triangle part of the gripper. And you want to make sure it's on the outside of it, not on the inside, so facing away. So now we'll go ahead and grab another one of these. It's the same piece. There's going to be three of these. Um, they're little 80 millimeter long um, parts for the arm. And we're going to attach it to this end, the long end that kind of sticks out further than um, the right side of this arm piece. And on this one, you want to be sure to stick it, um, attach it on the outside, just as you did the other one. So like this and not like this. Next part, let's grab the smaller ladder looking piece. Um, and this will connect to the base. And then we'll also need this triangle piece along with this tiny little spacer. And then the long pin. So all the pins are the same size besides this one. This one is a little bit longer and we're going to need that to connect all these right here. Looking at it like this, the triangle piece will come down like this. So you want this vertical part, kind of the flat vertical part, facing towards the gripper. And I'm going to go put the spacer, kind of hold it in place. It seems to work a little bit better. And we're going to slide that in here. There we go, I got it in. So, right now, your arm should look like this, looking straight down. From this idea. So both of these triangle pieces should be kind of facing the same direction. Now we're going to go ahead and grab the third um, long piece like this. And we're going to attach it to this um, triangle part on the gripper. And so for this one, it's actually going to attach to this triangle piece too on the outside. So it will look like this when I attach it. You want to make sure it's on the outside. We have most of the arm actually completed. This isn't good. Now, oops, my bad. This is the last time we're using this piece. I guess I already have one of these attached. I'll take it out. Um, so the last piece to the arm, we're going to do the end of this second triangle piece. So this piece right here. 
this little hole, we're going to attach this second, or this third um, long rod. And again, for this side, you want it to be on the outside, so it's going to be the same as these other two, where they're on the outside. So looking down, it'll be facing away from the middle of the arm. So we have most of the arm assembled now. Now we are going to um, start attaching this to the base and assembling the rest of the pieces. And we'll start assembling the universal joints. So you'll need two of these pieces, two of these, four of these little um, universal joint crosses, and then two of these. So to start this assembly, we will start off with one of these guys, and we are going to snap, so there's two little holes right here, and on this cross you can kind of see there's smaller um, little axle sticking out, and so we will attach that into here. So I like to just put one in first. Kind of like that, so it's off the side, and then you can kind of just slowly push the other one in. There you go. So that part's in. Now we'll go ahead and get one of these longer universal joint tubes. And do the same thing. This one's a little bit harder because you kind of have to stick your fingers in this small spot to get it. So I'll do the same thing. I'll go. Stick one in, and then I'll push that on. All right. So once you have that, that should be able to move around pretty easily. All right. Now we'll get one more across. Do the same thing. Again, that should be able to move around fairly freely. Now we'll get one of these pieces and attach it again. Some of these are a little tricky to get in. Oop. Almost there. Okay. So once you have that, you have one of the universal joint um, assemblies done. As you can see, Looks like it's working well. We'll set that off to the side. And now we'll do the same thing again. Alright, so now we have our two universal joint assemblies done. Now we can take out these two tubes that look like this. Now what I actually did is I actually sanded these down a little bit just so it's a little smoother and it'll fit in um, the hole it's going to go in pretty soon. Alright, now get these two bevel gears that look like this and they have a um, large opening with kind of the cross that this has, and then we'll um, press fit into there. So, kind of just line up the little cross into here, and then press it in. And when you're pressing it, make sure to press in the center of the gear, not on the um, teeth because you don't want to break any of those. So just there we go. Alright, so once it's pressed in all the way, um, that little cross on the outside of 
the tube should be pretty much flush with the edge of the gear. So I'll do that again with this one. There you go, it's looking good. Now we'll go ahead and grab the base that we have from before. And so where these are gonna go is these little tubes right here. And that's kind of the reason I sanded these down. It seems to work a little bit better if you do that way. Cause you want these to be able to spin pretty easily like that. So that one's looking good. I'll go ahead and press this in a little bit more, make sure it's all the way pressed. Let's see what this guy. Alright, so do the same thing with this side. Just kind of put it in. You can see it should be able to move around pretty easily. Same with this one. Now, get the other two bevel gears. These ones have a smaller little shaft on the end. You can kind of see. And that's just going to go in these two holes for them right here. So what you want to do is first put um, the bevel gear that is um, has the telescoping tube press fitted into it and we'll insert that to these holes on the side. Now the trick for this is to kind of gently Kind of pull the um, base, um, just bend it a little bit so you can kind of s put this guy in there. So be be very gentle with that. But what I'm doing is I'm kind I'm slightly bending the base just so I can get the gears under it a little bit, and then once it goes, it'll be good. So you want to line up the teeth, and then kind of, you can kind of feel it going. Kind of wiggle it in place, and let's see. There we go. We got that one in too. So now we're going to attach the arm to the base. So you have your base, and we'll bring back the arm that we previously assembled. And we're going to want to get um, one pin. And so what we're going to do is we're going to attach this piece on the end of the arm. It's facing away from the gripper. Right there, that hole. To this hole that's in the middle of this base gear, right there. There we go. So it kind of helps to go through this hole right here and maybe use a screwdriver or some thin object to push through. So we have that in, so it looks like it's connected. Next, we'll grab another pin and, oops, this is not falling back here. So on the right side of the arm, where there's this um, little attachment hanging off, we are going to attach that to this part. And so again, this is on the outside of it. There we go, so we have that attached. It's starting to look like an arm. Now, you want to grab this piece and we're going to put a pin in that and so this pin is going to go it's going to come in here like this and this is going to go on the outside of it like that so you want to go ahead and start with this um, on the arm. Okay. 
and that's just going to go in here and that will connect to one of the universal joints in a second. So now that we have that, we're going to grab the two universal joint assemblies that we made earlier. One, two. And we're going to go ahead and put those, slide this in the tube. They should fit in nicely. Do the same for the other side. Okay, looking good. Now we're going to line up um, this hole with uh, the part we just did right in there. There we go, I think I have it. Push that in good. So we spin this, it should start moving part of the arm. Good. Now we'll go ahead and do the same to this side. So it looks like we have the arm set up. You can see it looks like it's on there pretty good. And spinning each of these should be able to move around a little bit. Looking good. And obviously be able to spin it back and forth like that. So next step, we will go ahead and grab this last spur gear. And you can put it in um, a second spot um, from the left. And we'll also grab the spool. This is where the fishing line will um, wrap around that will help um, make the gripper work. So you can just put that in on this third hole. Just be able to spin around easily. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and put that to the side for a second. Go ahead and grab the top base. Then you'll need the four knobs. So you want this longest knob, that's going to go the second on the left, so right here. And the, the knobs that are the same size, so these two, are going to go on both the ends. So we'll start with those. So both of these knobs that are the same size go on the end. They're um, in between the other two sizes. So you can go, there's a little slot for the, the peg, you can put that in. Those look good. Now that we have the arm fully assembled, we are going to go ahead and um, grab a about two and a half foot long fishing line. This is about two and a half feet long right here. We're going to start by threading it through the gripper up here and then going along through the arm through these little holes right here. And then it's going to go through the this last one and then through this set of holes and then onto the spindle, which I actually just took off, but it's right there. All right, so we'll grab one end of the fishing line, and you can kind of see a little hole right in there. It's kind of hard to see this angle, but we're going to go ahead and string that through there, and it'll pop out this side. So now you want to do is there's a little hole in the gripper. And we're going to go ahead and tie it to that. So I'm going to go underneath it. And then pull a little slack so I have some room to make a knot.
Now we're going to do the same to the other side. You can see that that goes right through there, and then when you close it, it's like that. And so this is just one big loop kind of now. So what I'll do, I'll straighten out the entire wire until I get to the end like this. And then I'll kind of fold it in so it'll be easy to thread through the holes. This is a little tricky, so we have to go through all these little holes with this. Now we're going to go ahead and thread the two ends of the fishing line onto into the little um, hole in the spool. Next thing we're going to want to do is get a rubber band and attach that up here. Finally, we will take our top plate with the knobs in place and place that over the bottom base of this. And there's four little holes on here that line up with little pins on the bottom base. You can line those up and it'll snap into place. Then you can kind of look from the side to line up the axles from the knob into each of the bevel gears. And then you should have a working arm. And so yeah, that's the finished product. You should be ready to pick up things on your desk.